Hello, my dear friends. My name is Agustin, and we are learning English through tales from Shakespeare. What a uh, you know Shakespeare is a great writer. He wrote many dramas. He lived in the period of Renaissance. Uh, Renaissance. I will show you the picture of Shakespeare. We know that in those in those times, there was no photograph, and usually the pictures were painted. So these are the pictures of Shakespeare. and shakespeare has wrote many dramas and this dramas have been adapted as children stories and rewritten by charles and mary lamb they are brothers and sisters and i will show you the picture of charles and mary lamb this are they you can see both mary and charles lambs so we will be learning english through these tales the first one will be the tempest first the important thing is that you must know what is the what is tempest to get you the let us i will give you a, a literary definition tempest it the tempest means that a violent windy storm a violent windy storm a raging tempest it uh, we can say in another words a strong wind storm or hurricane and these are some images you can see the strong winds that is coming and uh, uh, destroying ships look how the seas are the sea waves uh, how the seas are moving look uh, a ship is getting uh, uh, submerged due to violent storms and the seas are and the seas air there is a rough sea we can see that this is an another picture which clearly give you an idea about what is tempest there was a certain island in the sea the only inhabitants of which were an old man whose name was prospero and his daughter miranda a very beautiful young lady there was a certain island in the sea an island means a small, small portion of the land island this is what an island looks like in the sea you can see in the midst of a river or in the midst of a sea a small portion of a land and maybe in that in that island there will be uh, uh, houses uh, the people will be staying there or maybe just andaman nicobar is an island and uh, you can say that uh, sri lanka is an island uh, maybe and uh, our uh, uh, lakshadweep is an island and the only inhabitants of which were an old man 
the inhabitants means that the people who are staying and the only people who were staying in there was an old man called prospero his name was prospero and his daughter miranda and what is the name of his daughter it is miranda a very beautiful young lady she was very beautiful she came to this island so young that she had no memory of having seen any other human face than her father's she came to that island while she was very young we don't know what the reason was or why they came to this island but she was very young and the only people she has seen is that her father's face her father was the only companion to her what is the meaning of companion who companies one who give company to one person who is always there for some person one person they lived in a cave or cell a cell means you know that there is a present cells are there a cell is a small a small void space probably yeah for example just think about a present cell a cave also you know the idea made out of rock it was made out of rock so we can more like we can imagine there was a in the there will be in, a, in this island there will be many rocks will boulders will be there many rock structures will be there and in this rock structures there will be some holes and it is in this spaces that miranda and prospero stayed it was divided into several apartments so in this apartment there will be there were many cells there were many small small caves were there one of which prospero could study and like in the we can see that in an english house in the english aristocratic house in the aristocracy means that the top most people with wealth with a good family like that in the english society english society is at the in the 18th and 17th and 19th century divided into hierarchies and at that time this there, it was something like in a aristocratic society or uh, in a good uh, in a big english house you can see that there will be study there will be there will be a dining room there will be uh, many sections just like that prospero one of this cave was called by prospero his study there he kept his books which he treated of magic so it was treated of magic there was magic in it a study at the time much affected by old learned man so he was very much into magic he learned magic he studied magic and and in this study in this cell he learned about magic and there were many books about magic and the knowledge of this art he found very useful to him so what was it this knowledge of this art he found this art very much useful and uh, uh, let us see why he found it very useful for being thrown by a strange chance upon this island it was big by a strange chance it was unexpectedly that he came into this island which had been enchanted by a witch called psychorax there was a witch called psychorax and it was psychorax who enchanted this island who died there a short time before his arrival so before prospero came into this island this witch called psychorax died and she enchanted this island what is the meaning of enchantment and what is the meaning of a witch a witch is that i will give you which is the someone who does magic and it is a woman if it is a man we will say he was a wizard you see that in the english the one who does evil magic bad magic we can there is a topmost hat this is called clock and i will show you a the a, a picture of wizard you see in the same way the wizard is also someone this is his clock there will be a staff a stick this one is called staff he can do a good magic usually wizards do good magic and also bad magic in the same case also witches also do good magic and bad magic and usually it is bad magic that is symbol that is symbolized with the witch prospero by virtue of his art that means that prospero by his art by his magic released many good spirits that psychorax had imprisoned in the bodies of large trees so in the la in there were many trees and in this large there were large trees and in this large trees 
pros uh, this psychorax this evil witch this bad witch has put many good spirits what are good spirits good spirits means uh, some you see atmas souls the when we become dead our spirits will be there right let us see if there is usually spirit has also another meaning which is alcohol look here you can see some of the images of a good spirits good spirits means a uh, good uh, you see in malayalam we say prayadam there is a, there is a prayadam we say but in the good in a good way it does good things so what are spirits look here you can see these are some of the you may have seen some of the films like conjuring anabelle there are also there are there is bad spirits and good spirits you see here these are the some of the images of spirit this uh, this is the enactment of tempest to play and in here you can see that these are the uh, spirits that have been that have been set in the stage so why did the psychorax this evil which put these spirits in this large trees because they re had refused to execute her wicked commands she put some wicked commands bad commands she gave them bad things to do and they said that they won't do it they won't do bad things and because of that she these spirits were put into trees these gentle spirits were ever after obedient to the will of prospero so these gentle spirits were ever after obedient to the will of prospero it was prospero who released the spirits and thus they obeyed him they willingly obeyed him there is a difference you see because prospero did a good thing and they did they they were happy to obey him and this psychorax asked them to do bad things and they disobeyed of this ariel was the chief so there were many good spirits and in these spirits ariel was the chief spirit he was the head leader the lively little spirit ariel had nothing mischievous in his nature except that he took rather too much pleasure in tormenting an ugly monster called caliban for he owed him a grudge because he was the son of his old enemy psychorax so ariel was a good spirit he didn't do many bad things but there was one bad thing that he usually did he did and what was that there was a witch called psychorax and this psychorax son is son her son's name is caliban he was an ugly monster we don't know anything else about him he was an he's an ugly monster and and this this uh, spirit ariel took very much pressure in tormenting this ugly monster maybe it is an revenge it may be a revenge because the psychorax put this uh, ariel into a large tree this caliban prospero found in the woods a strange mishappen thing far less human in form than an ape so how does this caliban look like prospero found this caliban in a, in the woods woods he was living in the woods and how does he look like he looked like less human he doesn't look at appear to be a human he looked more like an ape maybe more hairy large limbs uh, slightly uh, limping he took him home to his cell so he brought him to the, his home and taught him to speak and he taught him to speak he asked him to he taught him to speak he gave him his language he learned him 
and prospero would have been very kind to him but the bad nature which caliban inherited from his mother sycorax would not let him learn anything good or useful so what did the prospero ask the uh, uh, try to teach caliban many things but this caliban has already learned many bad things from his mother from his mother so he couldn't so prospero couldn't le- teach him anything good caliban stayed bad therefore he was employed like a slave to fetch wood and do the most laborious offices so prospero employed this caliban as a slave why did he do that because he was bad he didn't learn anything good that was taught by prospero so he was charged with fetching the wood from a forest and do the most laborious of offices what is laborious offices laborious offices means hard work and ariel had the charge of compelling him to these services so maybe we can say that this caliban may not have been ready to do this work he was accustomed he was he was interested he was already into freedom he was already enjoyed freedom so when prospero asked this ariel this uh, caliban to do works he was not ready so ariel had to compel him it was ariel's duty this ariel good spirits duty to compel caliban to do this hard works when caliban was lazy and neglected his work ariel would come slyly and pinch him and sometimes tumble him down in the mire who was invisible to all eyes but prospero so we can see that in here ariel is how he is a good spirit and we can't see this ariel if we come into this island and if we see this ariel we we look light through him right through him we can't see him he is only visible to prospero and how did this ariel cajoled or try to make caliban work by pinching him while he is he was lazy and neglected his work while he was resting in the uh, in the sand wood mud he used to pinch him and tumble him down in the mire and what is tumble him down in the mire he pushed him through the pushed him so he fell on the mud and then ariel in the likeness of an ape would make mouth set him so ariel will become a maip an ape he will become into the an an animal called ape and in this animal form this caliban could see him and what will he do and he will make mouth set him he will make faces then swiftly changing his shape in the likeness of a hedge hog he would lie tumbling in caliban's way who oh, feared the hedge hogs sharp quills would prick his bare feet with a variety of such like vicious tricks ariel would often torment him whenever caliban neglected the work which prospero ca- commanded him to do so like this ariel would make caliban do his work having these powerful spirits obedient to his will prospero would could be their means means command the winds and the waves of the sea having this powerful spirits obedient to his will prospero could by their means command the winds and the waves of the sea so what does this sentence say we know that prospero has magic know about magic learn about magic but can he do magic he does magic through these spirits these spirits obey him and these spirits can do magic and through these spirits whose leader is ariel he does he command winds he tell the winds to go away and it will go away if he tells the winds to blow this way it will blow this way and the waves of the sea if he asks the sea to rise it will rise all because of these spirits by his orders they raised a violent storm in the midst of which and struggling with the wild sea waves that every moment threatened to swallow it up he showed his daughter a fine large ship which he told her was full of living beings like themselves so at one time 
because of these spirits by using these spirits prospero made a violent storm a tempest he made a violent storm in the sea so that a ship was there in the midst of the sea and it began to tumble he began it began to rage in the violent storm it began to sink we can say that it was going to be broken and he showed that ship to his daughter who has never seen a human being other than her father and he said to her in that ship you can see maybe you there in that ship there are many people who are just like us and she she said back oh my dear father said she if by your art you have raised this dreadful storm how pity on their sad distress see the vessel will be dashed to pieces poor souls they will all perish if i had power i would sink the sea beneath the earth and rather than the good ship should be destroyed with all the precious souls within her so you can see how this daughter miranda her name is miranda is very much a kind girl she becomes sympathetic empathetic and she asks her father oh father if i had the power to control the sea i would say that that sea should be silent to make the sea silent to make it calm so that this people this poor people can go away unharmed without any harm coming to them so this is a story up to now and we can and we can go to the story in the next session in the next episode and uh, i will be posting uh, this story this book in the uh, uh, the li- the link to this book in the in the sub note of this channel below this channel you can see it okay thank you